Hello everyone and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia. Last time we fought Gordo the Round and well found a lot of discoveries, one I was not expecting. We got things We got things to find. And we have found them. And now I will cut past these enemies. Hoping for a moonberry. Let's just keep on going northeast-ish. Which one's the map again? Also, yeah, you can now have the Luan battleships uh, randomly fight you. So, this is actually a mechanic. There is a super boss in this game. Yeah. And... There, this is something I find interesting. Huh. I can use the aura of valor. Lol, well, no. Uh, the super boss requires you to do no 10 non story required ship battles now this is of course much easier later on uh, but I forget all the requirements it, ha it has some pretty specific requirements to appear including fighting other four other super special ship bosses it's an odd one, especially for this game, like, and it's, I've never actually fought it, just because I've never gone out of my way to, like, I don't, I don't want to fight it, it's, it's not one of those, like, oh, here's a super boss that gives a great reward, it's one of those things that when you can beat that super boss, everything in the game will pose little threat. One of those sort of infinity plus one sword type deals. So, confession time. That ship killed me. <laughs> literally. Like, it literally killed me. Like, I just, I made a wrong decision. Oh, cutscene. Well, yeah. Ship killed me. This reset. <laughs> well... Now here we are. Looks like we've reached Valuan airspace. So this is where the yellow crystal is hidden, right? Yes, it is sealed somewhere in these lands along with the yellow gigas. Considering how much trouble we've caused the Valuans already, we should be extra careful, right, Captain? Captain? What's wrong? Um, nothing. I'm sorry, were you saying something? Nothing really. It wasn't anything important. Yeah. Oh! Oh yeah, I actually forgot this was here. This one's actually one that's given me hell. That's actually a really hard one for me to find. So now we have to find where the yellow crystal is. This is I th one of the few times... Well, there's only six times, so I guess it would be few no matter what. Where we have to just explore a country ourselves. Thunderstorms. And lightning. They're very, very frightening. Me! Galileo! Oh god, I hate these things. Scorpons. Uh, I think red is the best for them. I keep on going past one. There we go. These things, I remember actually giving me a bit of shit. Oh, there we go. Okay, Vice fixed that problem. I think they can either call allies or put in some status ailments. Yeah, silence. That's what it is. Woo! Fina getting the crit.
I'm just gonna be me. <laughs> Oh my god, is everyone gonna go before Vice? That would be hysterical. Oh! Ah! Fina, no! Oh no, everyone but Drachma. Okay. But yeah, um, I ate shit and died in a non-essential ship battle. Um, okay. I bought some more equipment back at Ixataka because that's where I spawned. Uh, I did reset the console, so technically this file has no deaths on it. So I think that is a requirement to unlock a super boss. Also, hi Stonehenge. I believe it's called the Maw of Tartarus. I think if I actually step out, I can get that name again. I hit A too fast. Oh, Maw of, Maw of Tartus. There. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A charm. That's an item that actually kind of helps for min max and cupel. Uh, it makes cupel regurgitate all the chams it's eaten. Anyway. Oh, yeah, there's an, another cham here. That chunk of metal is huge! Beneath it is the Maw of Tartus. It's a sealed entrance to a series of caverns. These caverns are the resting place of the Yellow Crystal as well as the Yellow Gigas. This seal was built by my people after the Rains of Destruction in order to contain the Yellow Gigas. Now the Yellow Gigas lies dormant. Good. Keep that thing locked up. Well, I know this means that the Gigas can't get out... But it also means that we can't get in. Hmm. I don't think there's any way we can get through the seal. What should we do? Hey, don't move! The punishment for trespassing near the Great Seal is death! These guys aren't going to last long. Enforcers are yellow, so silver is the best. Look at that. I can just hit them all with Lambda Burst. And I just realized that all of Ika's moves so far alpha or are all like the Greek letters. Oh and why not? There we go. And just attack. Boom. Okay. But I can do that. I can do that every turn is the thing. That's why I like that move. Is early on, it's just your go-to. I can hit everything on the first turn. Like. Okay. That's great. Oh, grenade. Yeah, that's similar to the Zillion Bane's burst attack. Pyre box still hasn't broken. I'm impressed. Okay, Drachmas 23. We we surrender! Please don't kill us! Tell us how to open the seal and we'll let you live. That's impossible. Our entire army couldn't open it. Our commanders aren't concerned with the yellow crystal right now because it's already in Valua and it's safe from you. Hmm, that makes sense. I'll go after the other crystals first. Something's not right. You'd think that this area would be more heavily guarded. Where are the rest of your men? They're preparing for the raid on Nazrad. What? Valua's going to start a war with Nazar? 
I, I think so. I'm just a grunt, so I don't know any of the details. And there was a giant arc whale. It destroyed a few of our ships recently. One of our admirals is hunting it. A giant arc whale? Rachnum is here. Answer me! I, I don't know for certain. Some fog rolled in yesterday and there were sightings of a huge creature. That means it's probably still in the area. I have to go after Rachnum. I've been following you kids around looking for the crystals all this time. But now it's your turn to follow me. Well, it doesn't look like we'll be able to get the yellow crystal anytime soon. Okay, Drachma, we'll go with you. Very well. Now the time has come for me to finally face Rachnum. He was the reason that I got the Harpoon Cannon in the first place. I'm going to kill him or die trying. There... There is a cham here. You get one shot. Another chom, okay. Thought it was a cham proper. Oh, yeah, okay, I knew there was. Another chom, three choms, okay. I don't think I've ever gotten all three. I think I thought like one of the two down there was a bug. Stay here a little while longer. Okay, once you get in the ship, uh, it is cutscene and point of absolute no return. I don't think you can even save between it. If I can save, I'll do that. No, we can't. We'll need to rest up before we attack Rachna. There's always a thick fog surrounding him. He knocks ships out of the sky and they never see him coming. We'll hide in this canyon and ambush him at the first sign of fog. Tonight we slip he sleep here. Drop anchor, boy. Later that night, my heart was racing with excitement. I was too anxious to get even a wink of sleep. Rachdom is nearby. That's all I could think as I lay there, trying to sleep. Doesn't look like I'm going to get any shut-eye. Maybe I'll take a little walk to try and calm myself down. It. Yeah, so there is just a low vibration in this area. It's not cupel, but you can take a look around. There's everything. I just want to see something. No, okay. I just want to see if we could see anything special out on deck, but that would that would require better hardware than this was built on. <laughs> Captain. Is that you, boy? What are you doing up at this hour? You should be getting some rest. I was about to say the same thing. It's the middle of the night. What's that? Hmm. Open it. It's full of... Feathers? My son collects. Use to collect those. You had a son? Aye. About the same age as you. A long time ago, I ran a fishing boat in North Ocean. 
My son was learning to be a sailor. He used to come out with us. His name was Jack. It was a small boy who liked to help out. The other sailors they used to call him Little Jack. One day we went out fishing as usual. And then Rachnum came. We didn't know how powerful Rachnum was and we tried to fight him. But there was no way a fishing boat stood a chance against that thing. Rachnum destroyed our ship. I barely managed to survive. But my crew and, and Jack weren't so lucky. Last time I saw Jack, he was clutching some feathers as he fell. Like they'd stop him from falling. I can still hear my son scream as he fell. From that day on, I swore revenge on Ragnum. For my crew and for Jack. I need to kill Ragnum. To avenge my crew. And my son. I'm getting long-winded in my old age. Don't let it bother you. It's my problem. Captain. This fog. Could it be? Boy, go wake the others. It's him. Rachnum is here. I am very sorry for leaving this on a cliffhanger. But this is going to be where we say goodbye for this episode. So, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment down below about the most heartbreaking moment you can think of in a character's backstory in a game. And I will see you next time. So, let's let the good times roll.